Hi there, this is Tyler from the Papercut support team. In this video, we're going to be discussing reporting within Papercut, as well as some of the new features to come out with the 19.1 release. In this video, we'll discuss where to find reports, some of the more common types of reports, creating and viewing custom reports, and scheduling those reports to show up automatically in your inbox or file server. Before we start, we'll want to verify a couple of settings. Go ahead and navigate to the Options menu, followed by the Notifications tab. Once there, you should see the ability to set up an SMTP server. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and do that now, as it'll be necessary when scheduling email reports. Once you have your SMTP settings configured, we can navigate to the Reports section of the admin interface. This panel is going to give us access to all of the various reports that Papercut has to offer. Some of the most common and useful reports include the Executive Summary Report, the User Printing Summary Report, and the Printer Usage Summary Report. The Executive Summary Report is going to be great to get a high-level overview of your print system's performance. You can compare and contrast your current usage with previous days and months, as well as view your highest print users and top printing areas. The User Printing Summary Report allows you to see an individual breakdown of all of your users' printing. You can see color, grayscale, and duplex pages, as well as the total number of jobs that they've sent and the cost that they've accrued to their account. And finally, if you're looking for a little bit more hardware-specific approach to things, you can see the Printer Usage Summary Report, which gives you the same breakdown but on a printer-to-printer -printer basis. If these reports don't quite offer what you're looking for, there's a ton of default reports that you can use to find the information that you need. I'd highly recommend that you click through some of the other tabs to explore and see if you can find a report that fits your needs perfectly. Now, it's always possible that you could find one of the reports that we just haven't thought of yet. Papercut has a solution for you, though. As of the 19.1 release, we now have a custom reports tab. Previously, report administrators would have to use a third-party application to interface with their database. Once those reports were created, they would still have to use that third-party app to view the reports after they were finished. The Custom Reports tab allows you to create the custom reports as you had previously, but now you can view them in one centralized interface. If you already have custom reports set up, you just need to change the save location, and they'll automatically show in your Papercut admin interface. Now that we have a feel for the types of reports we can create, let's look to schedule these reports to automatically email us. Head over to the Schedule Email Reports tab, and we'll get started. In this menu, we can select a type of report we want to create, a title of the report, a format for it, and the timing, as well as its delivery method. For this demonstration, I've been wondering how my administrative staff has been printing lately. So I'm going to create an executive summary report restricted to the scope of my administrative staff sent to my email as a PDF every two weeks. So I want an executive summary report. Let's select it under the type menu. Now, I want a little bit more intuitive of a name than just the type of report it is, so I'll add administrative staff to the end here. Since I want this to be restricted to my administrative staff, I can select the group name administrators here. If I wanted to, I could also specify a shared account name, department, or office, as well as a printer group or a specific printer that I want the report run on. I want this emailed as a PDF every two weeks, so I'll specify PDF in the format option, Next, I'll click the drop-down under Report and select Fortnightly. I want this delivered by email, so I'll leave the delivery option the same. In the Recipients tab, I'll add my own email address, and just to keep me accountable, I'll add my office manager as well. Click on the Add button on the bottom right corner, and that's it! You've successfully created your first Papercut scheduled email report. Scheduled reports run alongside the scheduled maintenance within Papercut at 12.55 a.m. Daily reports will occur at that time every day, weeklies will be at that time every Sunday, fortnightly reports will be every second Sunday, while monthly reports will be on the first day of every month, quarterly reports will be every three months, and yearly will be on the first day of the year. In this video, we discussed where to find reports, some of the more useful types of reports, 
the new Custom Reports tab as of 19.1, and how to schedule those reports to automatically show up in your inbox or file server. If you need any assistance setting up your reporting or anything else with your PaperCut system, head over to www.papercut.com support. This is a great one-stop shop for manual entries, helpful knowledge base articles, and to reach out to our support team directly. Thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day.